Celsius. Thursday morning, this is Magic Breakfast. Welcome along. Welcome back, Matt Baker. Not that I didn't think you'd turn up today, day four. <laughs> I was banging the door down from, what, about half two this morning trying to get in here. On the show this morning, uh, £500 up for grabs on a reflex, maybe before anyone else in your house has even woken up. Yeah, why not? Can you imagine winning £500 this early in the morning? Scream quietly. It is Magic Breakfast with Matt Baker. Are you? We've been talking, haven't we, about introducing uh, films to our children. Yes. So mine are aged nearly eight and nearly ten. Of course they want to watch twelves, which is fine sometimes. They want to watch fifteens. And, and, and then you get to learn what's the difference between these films. A bit more swear words, a bit more nudity, whatever. So we started watching on Friday night um, Mall Cop. Yeah, but it yeah. was not funny, <laughs> right? Not only was it not funny... Maybe it was just the mood we were in. It just, it was very sad. We never got to perhaps the happy bit where he turns mm. his life around. All we got was, and, and it's quite sweet, my kids were very upset that he was picked on by his colleagues. Yeah. Um, for not being very fit, was he? And um, for, I don't know, just didn't seem like he had many friends, couldn't get a girlfriend. And this upset my kids, honestly, to the point where they both ended up in tears. They were crying at Mall Cop because it wasn't, oh, and, and I was thinking, this is an absolute disaster. You've got to play them the end. You've got to play them. They the don't end. know what they don't. We just we just quit. We we quit and run, and we just thought, right, what are we going to do now? And because it was police themed, stupidly, my husband and I went police academy. I know. Let's try and save the night and watch police academy. I have to say, they thought it was their birthday um, when um, there's a shower scene, right? And they they are screaming with laughter, thinking this is the best thing they've ever seen. There's a party scene mm -hmm, where they're around a bonfire and the girls get their tops off. Well, at this point, we're like, okay, all right, right. bedtime now, yeah. bedtime now. Yeah, well, th I mean, this has launched what we want to know from you all listening. We want to know when movie night with the kids has gone wrong. Yep. And that was a good movie. Yes, it was. Well worth introducing the kids to. I think everything's fine. I don't know. There's probably some swear words in it, don't you think? Um, yeah, yeah, this is, yeah, maybe there is. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, David in Aberdeen says, Morning, Harriet. Morning, Matt. Uh, my kids hate movie night with me because he always falls asleep. Oh. You've got to be awake for sense checking, David. You do. You can't do that, man. You can't let the side down. <laughs> Fiona and Crawley, uh, I planned a lovely movie night with the kids and put on Sausage Party. I thought it was a kid's cartoon, she writes. Whoops! Now, I, I have to say I have no idea what Sausage Party is, but I mean, now I can imagine that it's very much not a movie night for the kids. Yeah. Thanks for your messages, by the way, everybody who's sending in. Uh, we've been talking about when movie nights go wrong. Natalie in Portsmouth says, yeah, she hates movie night because I always choose old school musicals like Grease or The Sound of Music. She sings. Oh, good for you, Natalie. Come on. They need to learn about these movies. That's the thing. It's like, you know, we pick things that we want to watch and try and shoehorn the kids into watching them going, Grease is a great movie. There's, there's scenes in Grease that are not ma massively suitable for young kids, but I think a lot of it does go over their heads. We did uh, a full day of Back to the Future. We were all ill. It was really, really good. That's good. Karate Kid we went through. Yes, OK. As a wanna yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, recently, Top Gun sort of introduced myself Oh, but there's to. a bit of a sexy scene in Top Gun when he gets it on with Kelly McGillis. It is a bit awkward. Is that OK? Um, they just giggle through Well, that. you know, he's 12. He needs to get with it. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous song there from Sam Smith and uh, Stay With Me. He's going to be on this show later on. In fact, uh, shortly before 8 o'clock this morning. Very much looking forward to catching up with Sam. Um, yeah. He's a lovely lad. I'm very much looking forward to talking to him. On the show this morning, on Getting Britain Going, we're asking about when movie nights go wrong with your kids. Yeah, quite a few anecdotes are coming in. Thanks for uh, all of your texts as well. Um, yeah, I was saying earlier on that we've done Karate Kid, we've done uh, Back to the Future and all that. It's, I, you know what? I just love the concept of introducing children to, song, uh, to programs that we and movies we watched when we were younger. Do you think? Yeah. That, they, that, they, that they, they're good enough for us because we love them. But sometimes I just think they're not as bright. They're no. not as fast. They're not as, I don't know. Yeah. Not as but... many explosions, man. Well, but then, then my children look at me and say, mm, I realise you've become the man you are because of these terrible <laughs> movies. <laughs> Tracy in Norwich says, I loved fame as a kid, but you're right, Harriet, it is very rude. Now I understand it, it's very rude. Mm. Not, I don't remember what happens in the movie, actually. I used to love it as a TV show, because I don't remember what happened. Yeah, I just got an image when we were playing that of lots of people in Lycra this early in the morning doing some kind of Zumba. 
Um, <laughs> I did I did tickle out a little bit of yoga in my hotel room before I came over here. Did you? I'm staying in town, by the way, everybody, yeah. just because it's such a, a full-on schedule doing two shows at uh, either end of the day. I don't know how you've done it, to be honest. Um, how are you feeling yeah. doing well, the one I, show and Magic Breakfast? And yoga first thing in the morning. And <laughs> yoga first thing in the morning. How's that going for no, you? it's all right. I feel, I mean, I understand the concept of jet lag. Mm -hmm. uh, very much, but uh, do you know what? I, I don't know. I feel quite relaxed actually at the end of the day when I'm doing the one show because I've sort of been talking so much during the day. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so one more show. This is our last show together. I'm very sad about I that. Know. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed my week. You're welcome to come back tomorrow. Do you know? Well, I'm, I'm off for country file. You see, that's yeah. why I disappear off the telly on a Friday. Mm, yeah. So I'm in the middle of nowhere tomorrow. Um, I'm heading out to the coast to go and do a little bit of surfing with a young lad who we're. Um, uh, it's for the ramble, basically. Children in need ramble. We put on all these big sponsored walks right across the country and encourage people to do the same. Um, but I was going a bit of a jaunt with uh, a certain individual who's benefited from children in need in the past. Actually, last year, we took a young lad up a mountain, a Josh, he was called. It was his dream to climb a mountain, yeah. similar to you, you know, when you went yeah. up the snowden at the weekend. And, um, yeah, so him and his family has a life-limiting condition, and we went up there, and, uh, do you know, I've never seen so many rainbows oh. in one day as what turned up. And it was just... It was totally meant to be. The ex-England cricketer apparently came off the track where Richard Hammonds had a near 300 mile an hour crash while filming back in 2006. And that's the latest from Magic. Gosh, I hope he is all right. It's dangerous business, isn't it? Yeah, I did the Top Gear lap. I'll tell you more about that later. Oh, what, where they put you on a leaderboard? Yeah. Oh, OK, definitely want to hear about that. But in the meantime, Matt, that's how she opened the Blonde Ambition Tour. It's 1990, Matt, I remember. Oh, that's like oh your version God. of the th of the fame theme tune, isn't it? Yeah. Just watching you there, yeah. doing what you were doing Just in like this radio studio. I need that in my life. <laughs> tell me about Top Gear, then. Oh, yes, yes, I went, so, so uh, uh, weirdly, this kind of goes back to tractors again, so Matt LeBlanc is a big tractor fan. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and I know him quite well, and so he came, we, 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 one day he was on the one show, and we were doing this whole item about old-fashioned tractors and blah, 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 and then he said to me, he said, look, you've got to come and do this lap, you've got to do it, and so I said, all right, then, well, we turned up. The first thing we did was have a digging competition, Yeah. because I'd right, they'd drive a JCB as well, so we had, we, we had a competition to see who could dig the biggest hole. Brilliant. Um, sadly for Matt, he didn't win. Uh, of course not. Um, He's up against a pro. And then, <laughs> and then um, I turned up to do this, this, this Top Gear lap. It was absolutely petrifying. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been that scared, driving right on the edge. Because normally I don't drive anything that goes over 30 miles an hour, as you well know, <laughs> in a field. Um, and uh, anyway, I was absolutely hammering it, and I was properly shaking. Um, Are you on your own in the car? Yeah, you are. So, so you go around a little bit. Chris, Chris takes you around initially just to show yeah, you around. And, yeah. you, uh, and then you go in with a stick and you do a proper lap with him. Yes, okay. And then it's time. And um, you actually do a, quite, you do a couple of laps. Um, I wrote the car off on one of them. <gasps> I blew a tyre out on the other one. Stop it. So they actually took my middle lap, which wasn't the fastest. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm trying to make Oh, excuses. here we go. But you wrote the car off or you were OK? Yeah, bang. I, I literally hit that, the penultimate corner, went up in the air, bang, came down and took the bottom of the car off. Oh, God. Um, we didn't show that bit, but this is all the insight that you get when, you, hear, when you listen to a radio Love show. Like it. This. Um, but anyway, um, I got my time on the night, and uh, at that point, at that point, I was fourth. Wow! So I was really pleased. Actually. That's amazing. Do you yeah. remember the, the top four, top five? Uh, yes, um, I think uh, so. Chris Hoy was in the lead. Yes. Then uh, speed always. Then I think it was then Jamiroquai. Really? And then Ross Noble. Cars, doesn't he? Ross Noble is a motorbike racer. <gasps> and then the farmer. And then the farmer. And then the farmer. Um, but yeah, I think now I'm in fifth. Um, Stephen Mangan's squeezed in between us. But um, actually, Will Young, is he, is he covering oh, next week? Will, Will Young. Young is here Monday, yeah. Tuesday. Uh, Will's 11th. Oh, oh, don't you just throw that in, throwing shade at Will Young <laughs> like that. <laughs> we'll ask him about that. All good fun, all good fun. If you would like to play the reflex, it's £500 up for grabs and you can call us now. On Magic Breakfast. With me, Matt Baker and Harriet Scott. Thank you so much for all of your messages this morning. We'll do more of those. We'll do more of those before seven about when movie nights have gone wrong. But first, it's time for this. Love this game. It'd be good to have a winner when, while you're here, Matt, which means it's got to happen today. Yeah, we've done well in other competitions. Love that um, song. We've we got a winner, didn't oh, we? Oh, yes. And we've, um, I don't know how many tickets we've given away to uh, all around the world, but uh, it's certainly been happening. Um, let's see what happens with our man, Dan, the driver from Ashford. Uh, Dan, we've just been talking Top Gear. Um, you are known as Dan the driver. What do you drive and where are you driving to today? Uh, I just drive a, uh, um, a Sprinter van and I'm driving round Ashford and Kent. Um, and, well, I live in Worcester, actually, to be honest with you, so wow. I set off at uh, four o'clock this morning. So you do a lot of driving, then. You literally are down the driver. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> and how are your driving reflexes? 
this morning? Uh, not too bad. I haven't crashed, so that's all right. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, hey, good. <laughs> OK. OK, good. Well, this is, this is a fantastic game. Um, I've just been introduced to it this week, but um, there's a possible chance to win 500 quid, Dan. Yeah, it's, it's not yeah. easy. We know that. Ten seconds to name five things, Dan. They all have to begin with the same letter. OK, and what's today's letter? Well, good question. The day, the mm. letter of the day, and I, I, this could either be easy or really hard. V. It's V. v. Every v. answer yeah. has to begin with V for v Violet. V for Van. Down the driver. V okay, for okay. Van. All right. <laughs> Let's do this, Dan. Think of V. Get that in your head, all right? OK. Good luck to you. Thank you. Boy's name? Victor. Car? Vectra. Drink? Uh, Female fox. Dixon. Yes, is the right oh. answer. Um, but you got four right. Oh. We were going, going so well. I knew you were doing so well. We were going to ask you City, actually. What would you have said for City? Venice. Oh, Dan. You see, he's a steady man. He sticks to the limits. That's the thing with Dan. Yeah. He doesn't go. He doesn't go too fast. Yeah. Well done. That's the idea, Dan. I'm That's so it. so sorry, oh, mate. Well, never mind. All right. You leave with your head held high, but sadly, no 500 quid, Dan. But we love to talk to you again. Thank you very much. Have a great day, both of you. You have a great See day. See you later, Dan. Drive safely. Michael Bublé there on Magic Breakfast. Um, still to come this morning, Sam Smith is going to be here. Um, but at the moment, though, we're talking about um, movie night with the kids. I'm delighted that Dave's been texting in because he recently introduced his son uh, to a film that he loved when he was younger, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, <laughs> Bueller, anyone? Yeah, Bueller, any, yeah, raised or lowered. Yes, I look, I, do you know, my nickname at school was Ferris because I used to look like Ferris Bueller when I was a wee one. Um, but anyway, Dave carries on. He says, now, to be fair, he loved it. He loved this. His son he's talking about here. However, a little bit too much because the next day he presented him with a detailed written plan about bunking off school. <laughs> Remember that keyboard with the coughs and all oh, of that in so it? Oh, it's so clever. Yeah. I haven't watched that with my kids, but that's a really good Very one. Good. Talking about presenting things with people with things, Matt has just given us the most gorgeous gift. I can't. I don't think anyone... <laughs> has ever, I mean, some people might have brought in, like, food stuff or something like that. No, 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 no. Our resident farmer yeah. has brought us... We've got a whole farmyard, basically. He brought us some animals. Yeah. I thought I'd go in a... You know, I went with the starter set. Farmyard starter set. Yes. Um, just to get you all on board. And then maybe the farm can grow over the years. So Who where, knows? where do you... Where are we going to put these little things? Well, I'd, I'd, they need a bit of a view. Yeah, So maybe okay. the window. Okay, okay. I don't know. They are lovely. Yeah. I mean, oh, you I... decide. It's your, it's your farm. I mean, that's the joy of farming. I think they would What's your favourite one in there? Oh, the, the, the little it. calf. Oh. I like the little calf, but we've got a uh, donkey, which I'm a big fan of. Yeah. He's very cute. Look at this guy. <laughs> we've also got a book on the tractor story. I can't thank you enough. You've sorted our content until Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. No, seriously, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself, so thank you. Thank you for coming. You, you know you're here until 10 this morning. Yes, I do. Yes, I'm sort of saying goodbye too early at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. It's a long goodbye. <laughs> Latest news headlines.